Welcome to Weld.com. Recently had a, a request for doing a, a larger diameter filler wire on a six inch Schedule 40 5G fit. A while back we did a video on bad fits and stuff. This one isn't a bad fit per se, it's just a weird one because the cuts on this pipe are real uneven, wavy. And so I have opted to go ahead and open this rascal up quite a bit and run it with a 532 fat boy wire ER70S6. And the reason I want to do that is I'm going to go ahead and try to feed kind of from the inside here a little bit, take care of this, this strangeness that's going up through here, this wide, narrow, wide, narrow stuff. And um, hopefully we'll kind of lace this thing in here. And you know, it's not that bad. We could skinny it up and still do it with an eighth inch. Again, we're just trying to trying to demonstrate the use of some fat wires in here. I like using the big boys, especially on Schedule 80. Uh, six inch Schedule 80 and uh, thicker pipes, larger diameter pipes. I like running the big wires. Anyway, um, let, me get my, uh, let me get my sleeves on, find a hood. Oh, there's a hood. I'll use that one. I'll be back in a minute. We're coming off this bottom part, doing a little freehand with my thumb against the pipe until I get up off the bottom. Then I can rest the cup in the groove and take a walk. Pretty wide spot right here, about a quarter of an inch wide. Coming up on a tack here, so I'm going to heat the whole thing up, dash some wire in it, wait for it to sink right about right there. Up here on top, I tend to weave a little bit wider. Uh, we finished up. I went ahead and cooled this off, and I saw cut it and uh, got some b-roll of the inside of it i noticed one spot had a little bump to it i'm i'm thinking that's where it was wide open 
little transition right there. It's nice and blended, but it is just a little tall. The rest of it had some good profile, especially where we started out. Um, on the B-roll, kind of looks funny on the inside of that pipe, and I can tell you why. <clears throat> um, training coupons, we start out with foot-long sections. We'll make welds, grade them visually. Uh, sometimes we'll take them to x-ray. But when we plasma cut, we tend to plaster the, the plasma cut dust on the inside of the pipe. We do clean that back all the time when we're, when we're cutting these. It's cleaned back about an inch, good inch away from the weld. But it, it, I'm sure it kind of looks funny and rough on the inside. That's what that is anyway. Again, fat wire had a big old kind of a wavy cut. It still shoots through here, but it's tight down here. It won't go through. So I opted to open it up. You know, there's, there's a lot of options here when you're doing stuff like this. If I was out in the field running on dry rig off a, off a generator or something, I would probably have skinnied that fit up a little bit, set my amperage at about 80, 85, and ran it that way. I was in here in the shop on a foot pedal, had my amperage set about 150, wasn't using all of it, I'm sure. Um, anyway, 530 second wire and they go pretty quick when you get when you get used to it making the run you come up off the bottom uh, I usually change there's times I was able to turn the torch over and just keep right on going but again number five cup you rest it right in the groove just take a gentle walk and go with it if I was going to go ahead and do the fill pass after that I'd put a bigger cup number eight if I had to if we were doing this TIG all the way out I'd, I'm sure by the end I'd have a a gas lens on there with a big number 10, number 12, something big on there so I can walk the cap in there. Anyway, I hope that, uh, hope that helps out. I learned a little bit on this one for sure. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching weld.com.